Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently at a parking lot of a car repair center. I'm getting the car repaired. And in the meantime, I want to make a quick video because two hours ago, I saw a message from an artist who goes by the name of Harold. And I really wanted to have a quick talk and to perhaps provide some insights and solutions for this artist who is really struggling to get by. He faces many difficulties, uh, like a large inventory, could not make any sales and I uh, could not get any influence online no feedbacks and I know this feeling could feel really uh, doubting and lonely and that's why I want to make this video and perhaps if you have other kind of experiences and insights you want to share with Harold please make sure that you share with us in the comment below I do not really know if he wants to or not to have his name exposed that's why I did not put a link yet and later if he gets back to me I might put a link in the description description below so check it out and now let's just quickly look at what he said it's insane I set everything up got my EIN and DUNS small business number flooded Etsy eBay Instagram got my own domain made photo books and portfolios turned my tiny apartment into my art studio to work I sleep on the floor completely filled my apartment with unsold artworks all this crap and not a single customer yet only word of mouth commissions nothing online very very discouraging well first of all I feel for you because uh, it's a long process it's a uh, time-consuming and it's very uh, emotionally stressful to become a professional artist and you already have some word of mouth commissions that's already a good start so it's not exactly that bad and you did a lot of things that hadn't give you any feedbacks yet does not mean that they will not so take your time but also I see there are a few problems I would like to break it down into different steps and let's analyze each step if Haro had the strategies right uh, what could be improved and now the first thing first is the EIN and DUNS there are two different things one is the federal tax ID another one is for business credit reporting purposes and those two numbers are essential so well done getting them in place in Europe is a slightly more complicated because first you need to become a registered freelancer in your EU member state that is in the country that you live in and that means you pay 300 euro or more every month for your social security and licenses plus insurance and uh, maybe other accounting fees as well and once you have your own national VAT number you can do invoice and selling in your country if you want to do international business or selling across Europe you need an EU VAT which is free but you need to apply so that takes a, a week maybe so it's just extra trouble and to get your first step is already uh, very very uh, time consuming to become artist it's difficult but just like any other small businesses you need to get those numbers as well so in this sense um, becoming an artist is like having your own small business to become an entrepreneur so artists are like startup entrepreneurs and I refer to the entrepreneur experience uh, several times in my video I know that artists don't like to think about it uh, but it is true the second thing he did is Etsy and eBay and from this strategy I would assume that this artist Harold is selling something small maybe um, not so expensive under a thousand dollars and small to ship around and that is perfect for Etsy or eBay I would say before 2020 I would totally go on eBay or Etsy I made a lot of videos on different platforms but after 2020 especially today in 2021 I think there are better strategies to sell your art and going to a very saturated platform isn't the best I wouldn't personally go on Etsy or eBay I would go for a more niche platform that is better for my art maybe I'm doing some uh, gender equality kind of uh, you know feminist works I'll go to art of wear or I'm a local artist in France I want to sell large artworks I would go to uh, art Mayor or another Kind of platform that is more local so I mean not the generic go-to platforms because they are too saturated after 2020 the third thing he did is social media he went to Instagram that is perfectly fine I don't see any problem with going to social media but just throwing your artwork to social media won't really cut it it won't really do you any 
good because nowadays there are millions of artists going on social media like Instagram. If you go on social media in 2020, 2021, isn't going to give you a head start. So what you need is a content strategy. You need also have a strong visual identity and some e-commerce plugins like uh, Shopify, those kind of uh, equid as an alternative to make people uh, easily purchase your work. If they have to go ask you, go to your website and register and click 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 it's just too many steps and they would already lose interest so you definitely need to plan that as well when you have like 10,000 or at least 5,000 uh, followers on Instagram you are ready to sell through your um, Equid or Shopify those kind of e-commerce Number four, domain name. Uh, Haro mentioned that he had a domain name, but he did not mention anything about uh, content strategy or SEO or SEM or marketing. Well, having a domain name is just the first step of a thousand different steps. You need a domain name, sure, but then you also need uh, uh, SEO strategies like semantic kind of uh, content marketing. You need to build your brand. And once you have enough visits, you need to collect emails to have newsletters and then you need to link your social media and everything to make a centralized platform and then have a e-commerce store to link everything so that people can come to your website and purchase and don't forget to always update it uh, keep the security up to date and also have plenty of content every week you need to make at least one article writing about who you are why you make art who inspired you what is this series of artwork about why is this color not that color why you use this medium not this medium all of that blah 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 you know more than anyone else how to write about your art you need to get it down so that people can keep a consistent interest and you have like a, a nice flow of traffic from google to your website which is free so free traffic why not go and get them Number five, photo books. Harold mentioned that he did photo books and portfolio. I assume he meant that he printed his photo portfolio, uh, those kind of hard copies. These are great for art fairs, conventions, but it's not really good today um, in the middle of the pandemic. You can't really safely and uh, cost effectively ship your portfolios around. Uh, how are you going to um, promote your work through um, hard copies right now? I don't really see um, a really effective way using those hard copies. I wouldn't do them uh, today, but maybe I will prepare them and use it for later. Or I would section by section, break it up and make uh, some sort of newsletters or um, content videos uh, on my social media so that people can see the same content, but digitally at the comfort of their homes. Number six, that's six. Um, he turned his apartment into a little studio and he sleeps on the floor. Um, first of all, I really admire the sense of uh, devotion that he felt the necessity to sacrifice his comfort to do it for his art. And that is something that is admirable. And definitely, if you have this effort, you have this spirit, you are going to make it one day or another. But I would totally recommend you using some sort of sofa bed or bulk bed. That is something uh, maybe weird for an adult, but that's something smart to save space. Don't sleep on the floor to sacrifice your well-being because maybe you will develop some back issues. I don't really know the situation of this artist, uh, but I'm sure you will find your way to um, kind of optimize the space without having to sacrifice your well-being. Number seven, unsold works. Um, that is a very complicated issue. Unsold works, building up inventory, those kind of things are not unique to artists. Also, a lot of businesses are facing this, like the uh, ranch that I mentioned in the past video is even worse because uh, this uh, farmer uh, killed the cows and then froze the meat and now you couldn't sell the meat. So what? Like, uh, that's even more urgent. As an artist, it's not urgent, but that's not a really good excuse for you to come continue producing something that you know you cannot sell. Once you know you cannot sell, stop producing them, take a break, think about why, right? Like, do you need to do more marketing? So do marketing first. Do you need to take a break and think about life or study another technique? Do something else. Just by repetitively producing the works that cannot be sold, it will not automatically convert to sales. Just producing the artworks passionately and bluntly won't really help you at this stage. You are struggling financially. So I would recommend you to take a break. Stop investing your money and time in producing more works instead. 
take a break and look around other artists what are they doing go on social media go on youtube and check out some artists that you admire to see what kind of new strategies they are making taking the time to learn about marketing to learn how other artists are doing is going to make you much more efficient tomorrow so i think it's a really good investment of your time and those are the things that i could see in the strategy of artist haro if you you see some other things that you would like to mention make sure you write a comment in the comment box below that's all for today uh, thank you very much for watching i will now go to pick up the car that's all see you in the next video hey i would like to use this opportunity to thank our patrons if you'd like to become one check out the link in the description below